It's going to be an emotional night, this latest DVD presentation from your GMB Nottingham Panthers. Not because it's a sellout crowd here again, not because it's another visit by our arch rivals, the Sheffield Steelers, but because tonight's the night we honour our club photographer and one of our best friends, Mr. Dave Page, who sadly passed away after a heart attack, after a stroke. Come the match itself, Chris Ellis will be on the microphone. I've got a few bits and bobs to do downstairs with Dave's widow and son. I'll join you as soon as I can as we pay tribute to Dave Page. But, as I say, come the match itself, we're still three guys missing and Sheffield are within touching distance of the uh, title itself. We wish that was the other way around, but more than anything, we wish we weren't paying tribute to the life of Dave Page, who sadly no longer will take photographs of this wonderful sport of ours, in particular his favourite team, the GMB Nottingham Panthers. You're not going to be buying one of those Steelers bad sets anytime soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what was your first skate back out there like? <laughs> I felt like Bambi. <laughs> but jealous Basically, of his hair. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it because yours is gorgeous like his, but. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. If you haven't seen the video, uh, thank God it was bad cam work, because otherwise I probably would have got suspended for about 15 games. I, I, I found an old uh, program and a picture of him in there and photocopied it and, and gave it to him. He, he, I don't think he was too happy. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him over here, but it obviously wasn't good. <laughs> oh.
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've got a lot to fit in tonight. Coming up, it's the biggest rivalry in European ice hockey, Panthers versus Steelers. But first up, please welcome tonight's match mascot, 11-year-old Jack Stackhouse from Orsworth. Jack will now take part in the ceremonial punch drop with from the Steelers, Ryan Finity, and from the Panthers, Bruce Richardson.
thank you very, very much indeed. And time now for our national anthem. tribute for both sets of fans, outstanding. I think it was just a uh, paid tribute to what a guy uh, Dave Page was and uh, everybody appreciates what, all the work he did. Let's just send all our blessings to his family. That's the thoughts of Davy Graham here on the DVD Nottingham Panthers against Sheffield Steelers. What a moving few minutes. The applause went on and on and on and fully deserved for a very special man. Never a bad word said about Dave Page. Dave Page, rest in peace. What a tribute to Dave Page at the start of this game. It's the two biggest rivalries in British ice hockey, but they united for two minutes in memory of Dave Page. We're underway and Bruce Richardson loses the first face off and the Steelers will come forward right hand side into the offensive zone now, but there's some good work done there by Hill, but it's given away into the offensive zone on the backhand, and that's Phillips with the shot. It's picked up once again, some nervy moments early on for the Panthers. Basak has it left-hand side, and it's off the backboards, and there's fighting behind the net, but it's going to be Ed Hill who comes away. He's got Bergen out in front of him, instead goes left-hand side, and that one's dumped in on net, and it takes a deflection off Basak, I think it is, and it's dumped out towards Phillips, and Phillips will just dump it in the corner where it's picked up by Nick Tonis inside the first minutes here at the National Ice Centre. Galbraith coming away from the challenge of Finity. Galbraith into the offensive zone. Goes left-hand side, but he's forced away from the puck. Cook's in the slot, oh. and that's just wide of the left-hand post. Great chance for Cook in the slot. One-time shot just wide of the post. Now it's with Cook behind the net, but Basak does well to get that off him. And we played the first minute, and chances at either end. And a great start and a great atmosphere here. That one's given away. Nervy moments from both sides. But Shepard does enough to come away with the puck. He's got Finity right-hand side, and Finity will just chase after that puck on the right-hand side. Battling on the boards, Finity there. And Corey Nielsen will just ring it around the boards. And Crookshank will have it in the centre zone. Great pass onto the stick of Finity. Finity shoots, but Danny Myers does it back. First game back, of course, Danny Myers after his dislocated shoulder. He did against Hull in February. Now Mark Richardson coming forward. He's got Moly in support of him. Mark Richardson shoots just wide of the right hand post and Finity picks it up. Still no stoppage. We've nearly been playing two minutes. Is that going to be the first icing? No, it's waved away. 
And now Myers coming forward, right hand side for Moline, and Myers has it once again. Looks up. Moline right hand side. You've got Young Lakovic out there on the second line, so that just shows uh, how much they're thinking of Young Lakovic. Yeah, he's back checking really good there. But what a great start by both teams, both making mistakes and both having shots on net. Great start. Yeah, really exciting start. Now Panthers are going to try and come forward left-hand side. They can't do so because Thomas snuffs out the danger. Danny Myers uses his glove to bring the puck under control. Goes left-hand side and then now right-hand side off the boards for Mark Richardson. But that one's offside as Birkin goes into the zone too quickly. But Davey, it has been a, a frantic start with mistakes. In here defense. we go already, here we go again. Side. Chris, We've got a bit of fight going and on Richardson. here. Bazic and Richardson. And I've never seen Bazic fight, but this should be an interesting one. This is who's caused most of the injuries to our players is Basic, so Richardson's setting his stall straight away. Good job there by Richardson, just proving what he's got to do with the Panthers. That's Bruce Richardson getting involved, and the two of them are going to sit for five minutes, but it's been a nervy start by the defences, hasn't it? Yeah, by both teams, really, they're giving away and putting in, in the zones there. They've just got to make sure they're passing up the wall, chipping it out the zone there. But it's... Uh, I think the defence has got to settle down. It's been a big occasion to start with, so the teams have got to settle down early now. But that's fantastic play by Richardson there. As I said earlier, Basics injured two of our players when we're in Sheffield. So we've set our stall out early to let Basic know that he's not going to get away with it here in the Panthers. What a great start. And while we've got a moment of quiet, Davey, what a tribute today that was very emotional oh it's fantastic you know you, you, it just shows when you're part of the family of the panthers the panthers fans and of course the sheffield fans also there it was a great tribute to him it just went on and on and i really you know it's appreciated of by, by his family there it's fantastic lovely to have his family here as well and of course as you saw they were on the ice for the applause five minutes each for fighting then no surprise and We'll see the two of them sit in the box, and this time it's not Bruce Richardson and Finity, but Bruce Richardson and Bazak. So, 2.32 gone, and Panthers and Steelers locked at 0-0, but we've had the first tussle of the night. I don't think there's many seats to be had in this crowd. One or two dotted around. Now the Steelers, though, are coming forward into the offensive zone now with Legree. Shot comes in from Phillips. And Richardson, or should I say Robinson, deals with it. Then he's slightly slow to get back to his crease. And now Panthers will try and chase that puck down with Galbraith. Galbraith goes after Munn. Phillips picks it up right-hand side. and Picked up by Levers. Levers will just dump it in and then Munn will go behind the net and pick things up for the Steelers. Pass is going to come left-hand side now. Sarage into the offensive zone, comes away from one challenge. Sarage battling on the boards. Bergen tries to get there, but Tolbert gets there. Tony throws a hit on Tolbert, but it's not particularly a big clean one. Bergen battling behind the net. Trying to come out now in front for Richardson. Can't do so at the moment. Robinson behind the net. Now, Mark Richardson into the neutral zone now. Looks left-hand side for Danny Myers. Goes offensive, Bergen goes in after it, goes towards Lehman. And now suddenly there's some space for Shepard left-hand side, but Panthers have players back into the offensive zone. Now Finity, there's a man trading right-hand side. Shot comes in, and it's the base of the post from Crookshank. Bergen now, left-hand side, and dumps it in. Both sides looking dangerous when going forward, Davey. Yeah, I think that's the case. They're both pressing there, each defence. They're putting a lot of pressure on the defence from them at the moment. I think and that's the way both teams having to go at it. Two four checkers going in. And we're trying to make them make mistakes. Panthers now have it with Nadir. Finds Bergen, who has to stretch to get it under control, but he does do so. Bergen on net. Nadir and Levers are both trying to crash towards that net. Picked up by Cook behind the red line, who just touched it towards where Levers was in, but he had a bit of a deflection there. Nice, oh, nice skills play. Galbraith, eh? Galbraith into the circle, shoots, and Lehman makes a save. Tate loses a glove. Tate then falls over. Sheffield coming forward now, right-hand side. Not much option, though. Oh, big hit from Tony's on Hewitt. Big hit there. 
And I think, I think both set, yeah, both sets of players there didn't know what went on. I think they couldn't hear the whistle there, so both sets of players just stood still, waiting for to see what was going on. My thanks to Chris Ellis for filling in while we were on other duties. What a fabulous tribute and. Uh, the action started thick and fast. I'm sure you've covered it, Davey, but obviously uh, Bruce Richardson having a go at Basic, who injured Dan Tessier last time we played these boys yeah, well, down in Sheffield. Here's Mark Richardson behind the net. Can he come out front? Not quite, but the puck's with Jimmy Ferreira in the corner. Johan Moline picks it up, cycles it to the corner. Jimmy Ferreira tries to get it back into the corner for Mark Richardson. Can't get it there, but Moline picks up on the other side. Jimmy Ferreira takes over in the corner. Two Steelers trying to stop them. Haven't. With Johan Moline, tries the soft backhand to the front. He's in a tussle with Robert Dowd. Dowd's come away from the corner with the puck. Moline gets to him. One time a shot from Mark Richardson. Needed the big save from Lehman. Panthers have come out, fired up. A lot of emotion tonight and it's high octane stuff. Oh, it's fantastic. And I think that's the difference there with Lehman. He's right on the edge of his paint there. And I think he's been the difference with that team this year. He's been the guy who's won most man of the matches. And he's kept the team in it to win this championship. That and the fact they've been so, so lucky with injuries. They had one injury to Gillies early doors. Basingstoke were in a trouble patch. They replaced him with uh, Brad Cruikshank. Never saw the uh, scene, never saw the join. And they've been at full strength virtually every game. Yeah, exactly. There's ice in their call. Dreadful giveaway early doors from Ed Hill, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just a big quick turnover there. He just handed it to somebody in the slot, but uh, luckily we got away with it. All right, this one's sponsored by PWP Building Services. The actual crowd figure tonight, 7,127. That's one less than last time Sheffield were here. Do you want to know why, Davey? Because one of their seats hasn't been sold. Uh, I could see that. I can pick the seat, yeah. Shame on them. <laughs> That'll be Dave Sims' seat because he's gone behind the bench now. He feels no, safe there. Dave Sims can't afford a seat. <laughs> and he certainly, <laughs> you know, wouldn't buy one. That's why he's standing up. Because I wouldn't give him one. Boys work in the corner as well. Brendan Cook trying to come round the oh, front. Oh, he player. just ran off the end of the blade of his shaft and stick. Just lost control. Ed Hill, nice pass onto the tape. Jay Galbraith flicks one forward. Danny Myers, first game back from injury, jumps into the play. Touch and go whether we'd get David Clark back as well. Decided on Thursday he wasn't coming back. Decided not to say anything. Just in case uh, it gave us a bit of an edge with Sheffield. We knew it was going to be high oh, nice emotion. Here's Kevin Bergen working his way to the front, tries the short side. Brendan Cook on the rebound, still battering the puck around. He gets level for his trouble. Andy Carson's forgotten his whistle on the short journey down. And here comes Sheffield on an odd man rush. Kevin Bergen getting back. It's now two on two. Legui tries to make room for the shot. Panthers get sticks in the way. Legui fans on the shot. And Robinson plays it through his legs. Kevin Bergen batters it down the ice. Picked off on the blue line by Randy Dagenet. And he immediately sends Sheffield forward on a counter-attack. Sheffield in the black armbands, Panthers in the black strip in memory of the best photographer we've ever had, Dave Page. Stick to the corner on the shot from Moline by Jody Lehman and cleared down the ice. That has to be icing. Linesman Farrell blows his whistle as we touch the puck. Linesman Staniforth's got his arm in the air. The referee is Andy Carson. We've had seven minutes and 14 seconds of the biggest rivalry in European ice hockey. And it's still nil-nil on the board. Yeah, it's great. It's great rivalry. This is what it's all about. This is what the both uh, sets of players and supporters want. Full house here. Both teams going at it. Nothing held back. Mark Richardson. On temporary duty up front, remember, we're still missing a couple of guys that can take face-offs. Not least Britain's best, Matthew Myers. Not least the league's best, Dan Tessier. Yeah, it makes a good big haul and just shows uh, that what the players have been doing, stepping up to the, you know, stepping up there to play uh, offside. That is good yeah. call. The, the well, players have stepped up there. Possession's nine-tenths of the law, they say, yeah. and in ice hockey, it's 60% of the game. So yeah. you have to win your face-offs, don't you? Good response from the crowd at the top of this one. Both sets of supporters. Oh, it was outstanding. Just put the, like put the crew on from the bench as well and the, the, the injured plays and everything. Went well. Family coped well. And that's what I, was, I said earlier on. That's what it's about. This uh, being, Once you've been part of the Panthers, you're all part of the family. And it's uh, a lot of supporters here. have been here a lot of years. 
Well, surely he can't get away with heading the ball, he heading the puck, John Phillips. I know he's <laughs> well. Young three on one, three on one. Here come the Panthers across. Corey Nielsen tries to get it back. Oh, Soft good shot. Effort. Great save. Great effort there. Rebound comes out of Brendan Cook. He's kept it in the zone. Panthers still with the pressure to the front. Corey Nielsen. Clever play, faked the shot, tried to feed it to the back door, needed a huge save. Young Lakovic couldn't turn it in. And Saric has got it down the ice for Sheffield Steelers, but Panthers with a bit of pressure at the moment. Jade Galbraith fires it round the boards, but it comes off Corey Nielsen's big size 12s. And now Sheffield have uh, sent it forward again. It bounces over Nielsen's stick. Nick Tonys goes to get it, uses the boards, gets it to coach Nielsen. Banks it off Brendan Cook and it's fallen nicely for Levers. Levers has got it forward to Galbraith. Galbraith buys a bit of time, gets it forward into Levers skate. He's circled round, he's got the puck in deep, but his line mate, Brendan Cook, was going for a line change. And Sheffield bring it forward right wing. Oh, Ed Hill line Hewitt up, didn't finish the hit, but ended up with the puck. Well, just got to be careful there. We've got three sets of D. James Neal's been playing D. Now we've got three D on again. Just got to be careful what's happening on these lines. I think Neal is up front in this one. I don't think he'd have uh, young James Neal playing his second ever Elite League game on defence against the Sheffield Steelers. Well, Danny Myers got stuck in there. No sign of the shoulder injury, which sidelined him for a couple of weeks. It's your room and the has a look. And Sheffield want to mix it, the big route. Oh, it's a giveaway! John Phillips oh. shoots high and wide. Twice Panthers have given it away, and it's given Sheffield the best two opportunities of the game. Legway shoots off a pad, Richardson's pad, it goes to the corner, Nadir half slips over, Legway shoots wide, wide, that would have gone for a throw in. That came out, Dagenet couldn't keep it in, he gets it across to Saric. Good defence the Sheffield Steelers, experienced defence, solid defence, and that's what they've built their uh, season around. Oh, for sure, definitely, they just added one player, which is Basic, and he's experienced, he had two years at uh, Manchester, so they've just added to that defence. Johan Moline down to the half visor. First time I've seen him in the half visor since he took that dreadful hit from behind against yeah, Newcastle. Yeah, he's back, he's back to normal. Back to his, he's feeling confident again. So it's great to see because Moline to me is the man. Legway goes past. Good save. Nick Tonys and Michelle Robinson comes to the rescue. Just past the halfway mark of the first period. Sponsored by PWP Building Services in the UK Elite League. And it's nil-nil between the biggest of rivals. Just a sprinkling of empty blue seats, Davy, but I can tell you for a fact they're all paid for. Yeah. They're season ticket holders or sponsors that can't get there. And uh, shame on them, but maybe they've had something to deal with this week as we have. And that's why they can't be with us tonight. No, that's for sure. But I think it's just a uh, tribute to the Panthers fans. And there's a lot of Sheffield supporters also. It just shows well, the magnitude of this game. Oh, Ed Hill in a bit of a, a panic down there. He's, yeah, it's a couple of times he's, he's panicked to get already. It back, yeah. Backhand down the ice. Lakovic can't reach it. Bruce Richardson out of the box after the five-minute fighting penalty finish. That one's in the crowd. That's a souvenir. Keep your eye on the puck at all times. And look for the Panthers advertising in Balls Mania magazine. Usually brings a smile to Steve, the cameraman's face, that, uh, that plug, but it hasn't done tonight. See, directly opposite us, David, there's an empty box, but there were no boxes available for sale that weren't put on sale tonight. So yeah, someone's bought it and not bothered to come. It's unusual to see, but uh, if somebody's bought it, then no need to worry about it. I hope it was someone from Yorkshire. I like the Yorkshire <laughs> pound. <laughs> yeah, it's even harder to get out of any pound, honest. <laughs> Me and Mr. Black were not fussy. You know those Scottish pound notes that they say are funny money? We love them when Edinburgh comes down. Yeah. So, sadly, they don't bring very many like they used to. Yeah. Tate gets it forward, but Nielsen keeps it in. Panthers wing it around. Lehman helps it on, but only as far as Levers. Levers tries to get it to the corner. It jumps up his stick, and it's cleared by the Sheffield Steelers. Diagonal dump. Corey Nielsen gets there first, protects the puck. Dowd nails himself on the boards. Dumb hit. And it's led to a three-on-three -three break the other way for the GMB Nottingham Panthers. Jal Galbraith tries the And that's one thing I've, I've, I've noticed there, Gary, is you've got to shoot high on Liam. And he, he tends to come down all his chest first. He's coming down and he attacks you that way. And he tends to leave a lot of up, up high on his net. So I, I hope the players uh, realise this and shoot high on him tonight. Well, Brendan Cook in this building a week ago got two uh, great goals going upstairs. 
Ashley Tate was down injured there. Oh, another mistake on defence. It's given it away. We're getting too hustling, many turnovers. Bustling. Nick Tony's trying to win it back on Talbot. He's still hustling. He's done enough to free the puck up. Danny Myers uses the boards, but hits Tony's. We're getting too many Tony's turnovers on the zone here. And Tony's is battling. He knows he made a mistake and he's trying to put it right for his teammates. Sheffield come oh, out. We're going to watch here. We've got a forward. We've got Richardson. two defence. Sorry, Gary. We've got two defencemen standing next to each other. The forward should come in and let that defenceman go back to the front of the net there. They've got to understand what's going on here and it's such a game like this. There's going to be an element of people frightened to make a mistake, Davey. Oh, for sure. It always is in games like this, but that's part of the job. Clever play by Michelle Robinson. Held the puck just long enough, then flicked it to the boards, and it's led to this breakout. Bruce nice Rod play by Richardson. Bruce Richardson tips the uh, clearing pass from Corey Nielsen. Lakovic getting regular shift. Yeah, got such an old head on young shoulders for Lakovic. Experienced guy. Back to, oh, it just bounces over the stick. Of Nigerian born, it's your room and a dirt. They're offside. Oh. oh, give him a two. You cannot call the linesman those names. Tell Doug Shepard to sit down for two minutes, referee Andy Carlson. Yeah, that should be a penalty. 6.56 to go, first period. <laughs> but what a pass by young Lakovic to the dirt there. This is a guy, we, we, we talk about Lakovic, he's, I think he's going to be as good as uh, Dowd is. Dowd had a great year, and if Lakovic gets the ice time, I think he would do exactly the same as Dowd. Don't disagree with you. I actually think it applies to so many British players. No, for sure. <laughs> Honest, yeah. right across the board. Bruce Richardson was being hooked and hauled by Finity. No call. Lakovic trying to win it on the boards against John Phillips. No, it's Doug Shepard. Nearly picked the pocket of an import. But as he didn't, I won't use the phrase. Crookshank sidesteps. Danny Myers, Crookshank with a shot. High, wide and handsome, bad ricochet, but it lands kindly. Oh, bad play by and this, Bruce. And this is the thing with Sheffield, let's come straight, straight back on you offensively. There's three on two there, so we've got to make sure we've got that forward back. Thomas goes right wing route, he hits the stick of Ed Hill. Here we and go again. For He's got Crookshank at the back door, he's bouncing around and he's bounced all the way through to Bergen. Sends it forward to Mark Leavers. Mark Leavers gets the derby wheels going, tries to go through the nutmeg of Munn. It's landed for Bergen, it won't settle for him, it's bouncing around in the slot area. No feet moving from Leavers and it's led to Dagenet getting it forward, stretching Corey Nielsen, can't reach it. And Ashley Tate takes it into the corner, loses the puck, it's gone right across. Nick Tony deals with leg week. Sorry, it's Hewitt, and Hewitt's got the puck to Tate. Right across, Brendan Cook. Oh, Galbraith tried to thread the eye of a needle. He's oh, got yes, it through to Brendan Cook this time. He's onside, but the puck bounces over his stick. Munn clatters into the glass. Got to finish your checks off there, especially when he's just turning around there, Galbraith. Whack down the ice, that's icing. He's waved off, no icing. It's your room, Nadir's not going to win the foot race. No. He's dealt with a man though and it's released the puck and he's got a penalty for holding. In a high octane game like this, yeah. he, perhaps he held him too long but I thought he might have got away with that. Yeah, you've got to go after the, the, the puck there, fight the puck. Especially when you've got a guy, a fast young guy like Dowd I mentioned earlier. He's going to be bearing down on you. Let him get there first and then nail him. Nottingham's award winning Sage business partner. Well, the first power play, and we've seen what Sheffield's power play can do. Just hopefully our, power, our penalty kill's been good this season, so hopefully we'll kill this one off. I didn't want to say that because I didn't want to tempt fate. <laughs> <laughs> we win the first draw, and it's uh, winged down the ice by Corey Nielsen, but it's sent straight back by Lehman to Saric. And Sheffield have practiced this all week. And they bring it forward through the middle. Shepard dishes it off to the right wing. It comes back. Bounce. It didn't bounce. And Saric has kept it in the zone. Richardson's clearance was soft and didn't get out. Legwe on the blue line with Saric. Saric fakes the shot to Legwe. Legwe to the side. Robert Dowd, the Brit. He's got to be something like the leading British uh, goal scorer this year, apart from Tony Hand, I would think. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's got to be up there. He's Shepard, steps in from the hash marks, they're driving first. the net, they've got the extra body, remember, Talbot out to the back door, hits a foot, this time, Mark Richardson, whacks it, no more, but whacks it hard enough to get it out of the zone, Saric stretches, keeps the puck, Nick Tonys bangs him, Talbot, ooh, just behind two Sheffield Steelers, 
John Phillips back hand to Dow, Brit to Brit and across to Canadian Tolbert. Tolbert tries to feed point, gets it to Saric. Saric through traffic. Bad nice save. save. Good night, Michelle Rebound. Robinson. Mickey Robinson doesn't let us down. 4.14 to go. 54 on the power play. Still nil-nil. Yeah, great save. There comes right out to make sure he gets that shot and he gets, lets no rebounds at all. Building services. Any noise for the fans of the Steelers? And that's our rule for the GM League. Richardson on the draw with Finity. I think they've got a load of respect for each other, but that doesn't mean they like each other. Bergen cleared it down the ice. Lehman tees it up for Rod Rad Randy Dagenet. No, I think once the puck stop, that's it. The fellas have got to go to work, get on with their job, and then they can respect each other once the ice uh, the game's finished. Phillips. Most players know each other Ooh, anyway. Sends in. Danny Myers who feeds Bruce Richardson but he doesn't go for goal, his route to goal was cut off so he sends it all the way back to Kevin Bergen, remember Panthers on the penalty kill, Bergen goes round the net, takes his time and sends it all the way down to Bruce Richardson who has a luck and sends it rink wide. Johan Moline. Bruce Richardson, you want it Sheffield, come and get it. Yeah exactly, just Danny possession Myers. like you said earlier. Moline. Oh, nice play by Stick Moline. hands his way round, gets a high stick from Tate for his trouble. Sheffield finally have the puck, but they only have two seconds of man advantage. Danger time, though, just have to get a man back. Straight giveaway, it's your room and the dirt, can't find it in his feet. Gets it the second attempt, uses the boards, goes for his own ricochet, can't get it. Sheffield come back the other way, Finity shot, tipped by Danny Myers as Dagenet went flying in centre ice from a hit from it's your room and the dirt. Ed Hill gets a stick in there and the shot was from a tight angle, it's picked off and Brendan Cook floats one down the ice, Thomas goes to get it, we're in the last three minutes of the first period. Puck's bouncing around, James Neal stretches for it, he's got good hand-to-eye coordination. It's flicked down the ice, Brendan Cook nearly frees it up but doesn't, he's Cruikshank, one hands it forward, needed the save to deny Dowd but yeah, now Nottingham have got time to build on it two and a half minutes to go first period it's goalless Galbraith protects the puck takes the hit from behind from Sarage still got it still works it backhands it across one time and Nick Tony's big, shot. big rebound and if anything Brendan Cook was too close to the goalie to latch on to the rebound last two minutes first period Nick Tony's forward Mark Richardson having a fine game up front they're already sniffing round Mark Richardson for next year can you believe that Mark Richardson tries to force it through gets oh, it. Great goes effort. upstairs and goes too high upstairs from four feet Moline to the front nodding and piling it on yes, right yes, what a goal, yes, Moline. yes Johan Moline opens the scoring to the GMB Nottingham Of that. What a goal, and what was said earlier, went straight upstairs, put it right in the roof of the net. Great goal by Moline, fantastic. That's just putting the pressure on there, Dean. Good job. 18-15, Johan Moline, assisted by everyone in the building, apart from a few hundred Sheffield people. Yeah, for sure, oh, great goal. Put a lot of pressure on, Mark Richardson done a great job there. Moline picked up the rebound, put it right on the roof of the net. Now Sheffield are at the most dangerous when they're behind. But they do have a habit, Davey, of going 40, 50 minutes behind before they get their noses back. Yeah, should be an interesting. Oh, straight over the ice from his own end. Wasn't that straight over the uh, glass yeah, from his own end? Yeah. It's not defence zone, it's your own half. Yeah. That rule changes, it's your own half. Call. Two minutes to delay the game, power play. It's in that zone. That's where you love it or hate that rule. And oh, I make it oh again. man, that was a bad play, Steve Munn. Used to be the uh, when it first came in that rule, David, it was the defensive. Oh zone. yeah, for sure, yeah. This is where some players don't know, you know, don't know the different rule. He's not changing his mind, is he? He's never changing his mind. Sponsored by PWP, 
always controlling the temperature, whatever the situation. Well, you know they're going to moan and bitch about something. I've just oh, yeah. no idea what they're moaning and, and, and bitching no, about. No, if it happens, it happens. That's the rule. The players don't like it, but it's all right. You know, it adds a bit more spice to the game. Gives us a power play. Under two minutes for delaying the game. Steelers 25, two minutes for delaying the game. I confess the week we've had, Davey, I've been... I haven't been able to check stats and things as much as I would have liked to. I'm sure Sheffield, just from reading reports week after week, have scored their fair share of short-handed goals. Yeah, for sure. They've got speed and skill, haven't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. They've got some fast forwards there. The defensemen move it quick. 75 seconds of power play to finish the first period. Nielsen. Cook. Right in. Off the skates of uh, Galbraith. Bounces kindly. Bergen gets it behind the net. Just goes over the stick of Johan Moline, but Galbraith gets to it, Moline lets it run, Saric gets a piece of it, but only gets it to Moline, then they use the boards, only get it as far as referee Andy Carson, Panthers keep it in, Moline He's jumped from behind, off the play, under Carson's nose. Yeah, referee's right there, didn't see a thing. Good player by Cook there. Nice pass. There's he's hooked and hooked from behind, no call again from Andy Carson. Now, you know, normally I'd say that's fair. Do you know what I mean? You're on penalty kill, you can have a little bit of leeway. But that normally doesn't apply, and he certainly doesn't normally apply with Andy Carson. No, that's for sure. It looks like he's letting uh, a couple of things go at the moment. But as long as it's both ways. Kevin Bergen tried the blind backhand pass. It didn't work. It went astray, and now Sheffield on the back of it. have got it forward oh. off the skates of Finity. Michelle Robinson makes shoe with the one-handed paddle, and Corey Nielsen just wangs it down the ice. As we approach the last 10 seconds of the first period, they send it all the way down. It won't be icing, of course because they're short-handed, but we've decided to settle for 1-0 and make no mistakes. Corey Nielsen winds up, big long shot on target, stick to the corner, rebound, Bruce Richardson, golf swings at it, golfs it towards the net, great first period, great tribute to Dave Page great and job. a fitting first period. Just one point, last time we played them, Bassi got two minutes for kneeing Dan Tessier. Dan Tessier is missing six or more games through injury, we put in for supplementary, the referee was asked why didn't you call it what it should have been a game and then if we'd upgraded it would have been a match and a suspension. Two minutes was upgraded to a game, but bear this in mind Davy. if he'd been given a five and game in the game, they would have been on a five minute penalty kill, not a two minute penalty kill. They wouldn't have got a man back if we'd scored and they would have lost Basic for the rest of the game. Yep. So pulling their defence apart and it was a really tight game. What a shame the referee got it wrong on the night, Mr. Mori Hansen. And that's why Panthers are so upset with Scott Bassett. Oh, yeah, because he sure. took Dan Tessie out. My point to the league was he made no effort whatsoever to get his knee out of the way. And the tape shows he made no effort to hit him with anything else. Their PR machine said it was a clean hit. Obviously, the league didn't agree. Anyway, 20 minutes gone. The smiles are in our locker room just for now. Hopefully for another 40 minutes. Panthers lead against our rival Sheffield by a goal to nil. The players will be back after this short message from our headline sponsor. We know it's interrupting the interesting bit, but bear with us. We think you'll like this. Do you have a mortgage? Are you thinking about getting on the property ladder? Would you like to check if you could pay less on your monthly repayments? Then why not talk to Nottingham Mortgage Services? When you get mortgage advice from us, we won't just find you deals offered by only one lender, we searched thousands of mortgages from over 60 lenders to find the right deal for you. Visit thenottingham.com to find out more or request a callback. Everything can be done from the comfort and convenience of your own home. Now back to the Nottingham Panthers. Tight first period then, 1-0 to Nottingham, GMB Panthers in front, Sheffield uh, using the full break before they came back, Nottingham were back first, they were uh, keen to go with 24 seconds of power play Davey, um, shots on goal 8-10, everything was even Stevens that first period wasn't it? Oh yeah for sure, it was uh, backwards and forwards that period, fantastic play, both sets of forwards, put nerve, finishing off the checks. Well, Steelers game plan, this period will be simple, won't it? They want to get through the 24 seconds and get back to even strength and then try and get back to even Stevens on the board. Oh yeah, after that penalty they're all arguing about, but uh, let's hope we can make it count just for 24 seconds here, but I'll build a pressure on the Steelers. 
Bergen, Richardson and Cook up front. Nick Tonys and uh, Nielsen at the back. Sheffield clear it only as far as centre ice and Tonys goes D to D. Nielsen uses the boards, fires it right round. It's ricocheted oh. off badly. And the whistle's gone for offside. Ooh, I hate linesmen standing for sometimes. He's well, one of the always... worst linesmen in the league. <laughs> Well, what gets me all is makes decisions for referees. Yeah. He calls a lot of the stuff that's going on. Well, the key here is watch the box, because Mr. Munn will be the man on the ice. I ten think that's seconds why, behind. I think that's why they've changed with Tony's to drop back. They've got to realise it. Ten seconds. Shot's just off target. Bergen has to keep it in. He does. They've got their man back. Bergen right to oh, the no. front, Brendan oh. Cook, fans on it, Nick Tony miss hits it, Richardson's legs ripped out from underneath, no call, Cook goes to the corner, backhands it, Richardson has a look, right across, Corey Nielsen tipped upstairs, off the D-man stick, Kevin Bergen, protects the puck, Richardson can't capitalise, Sheffield bringing it forward, Finity, poke checked, Richardson helps it on its way out to the right wing. Johan Moline, Richie's right in front. It's Luke. Oh, oh hits the outside of the there. post and goes wide on the shot from. I don't know. Honest, I don't know who backed in. Was that Richardson backing up and firing the puck? No, it was Corey Nielsen got the shot there in the end. Uh... Mark Richardson's backhand doesn't hit Moline in stride, but between them, they've got the puck down into the Sheffield end of the ice and it. Comes round, leg we can't keep it. Ed Hill. Oh, what a goal! Jimmy Ferreira! Ferreira. Beautiful Jimmy Ferreira, student at the Nottingham Trent University, full marks! Fantastic, just simple goal. Get a shot from the point and deflection in front of the net. Simple as a cob, just get the puck to the net. Great job. When you've got something to celebrate, and that's what it comes down to also the forwards finishing off the checks every time on their defence and the defence is coughing it up Twenty one twenty four Panthers stretch the lead to two. Panthers two, Steelers nil, sponsored by T PWP. And Ed Hill not having a great first period gets an assist and a great assist on the second goal. Yeah, the shot went up. upstairs just like you say. The route to beat Jody Lehman is upstairs. He's out of his crease now and he plays it round the boards. Danny Myers reads it, but so does Welshman John Phillips and he gets it down the ice. See, Ed Hill just fanned on that one. Bad play, and now it's been given away right to the front. Good play by Danny Myers there. Danny Myers comes back and mops up. Carries it forward onto Brendan Cook. Brendan Cook's got a second bite at it. No, he hasn't. Brendan Cook's taken down behind the play. Or was he? Legby brings it forward. Sheffield, three on two, blown down. What a great linesman Paul Staniforth is. Yeah. <laughs> isn't he isn't he sharp? I've said it he's before. So good on those he's one flights. of the best, yeah. He's one of the best. <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes he helps the referees with the difficult decisions <laughs> when they miss the odd one. Uh, We're on fire here tonight, inspired by Dave Page. Well that's one one each is called one and one one either team. It looked pretty dubious on both sides. No, they were definitely offside there, David. That was blatant. Dowd and Corey Nielsen in the corner. Dowd gets it to Tate. Tate goes down. He was looking for that for the hit from behind. Levers. Levers. Out muscling Tate. And Brendan Cook gets the puck inside to Corey Nielsen. Corey Nielsen backhands it off. We've got spare bodies back door. Goes round and goes low. Jade Galbraith. Oh, listen to us, Jade. Go upstairs on him. He was down on his knees as well. Hooks between the feet of Ruman Nadeur. He deals with Hewitt. Tate. Oh, Shoot. Good save there, just good got a toe to that puck. Exactly, got the bottom of the pad down. Oh, we get about three goes and eventually Bruce Richardson gets the puck out and then gets it back from Jay Galbraith. Brendan Cook skirts around across the front. Jody Lehman scrambles and misses it. Yeah, they're, on, they're panicking a Bruce bit at the moment, Richardson Sheffield. Doesn't let us down, he hustles and bustles. Michelle Robinson, beautiful pass up to the tape. Lakovitz dishes it off. Brighter. Kevin Bergen takes it on. Shot, wrist shot off target. It's come all the way round. 
Oh. Throw to the front area by Nick Tonys and he stretches to intercept and stretches to intercept Great and player. stretches to intercept. I love players who, if they make a mistake, Put it right. Yeah, that was great by Tony's. Uh, not once, not twice, three names. Putting Mark by Richardson self. dances through the tulips, replacing the guy who normally does it for us, Matthew Myers. GMB Panthers two, Sheffield Steelers nil. More Nottingham fans here than ever. If you look over at the blocks on the far side, you can see that Nottingham fans have more than half filled the big block on the far side that we open up to Sheffield fans. The like joint box block. Thomas and Ferrara there. Yeah, he gives it back to Mark Tom. Mark Thomas thinks he's harder than he really is. Trust me. I've seen him fight. You see, you've got to be worried about the quiet ones, and Ferrara's a quiet lad, keeps himself to himself. Oh, big dive. And another dive from Finity. Ferreira giving it back to him. Good lad, Jamie Ferreira. I want to watch his... Moline finishes on Rod Saric, and the puck's there waiting for someone to pick it off. Well, Ferreira couldn't play. Well, it. Lucky we, got away with that. we had six <laughs> men on the ice for a good... That was a good cheap, big cheap. Phillips good with a shot save. into the GMB logo and covered up by Mickey. Don't let us down, Robinson. He's so fine. And this is great start of the period. Both sets, both, well, our sets are forward. Just going in, finishing the check every time. Sheffield Steelers defence now are having a quick look to see who's coming in to hit them, so it's putting them under pressure, trying to move the puck. Bruce Richardson comes from the bench at 24.46 to take the draw with leg week. Bruce wins the draw. Ruman Nadeau backhands it to Danny Myers. Danny Myers off the stick of the Sheffield forward, still gets it to Cook, Cook to Galbraith. Galbraith works his way deep with Saric all over him. Protects the puck, shields it, does it so well. Flicks one to the front, it's loose. Oh, it bounces kindly for Sheffield and Talbot gets it to Phillips and they clear the zone. Phillips goes after his own dump and comes out of the corner with it. Right across, good needed save, the save, save, needed the big save to deny Legwe. Forward on this side had left Legwe all alone. Yeah, got, he got himself behind the defence. This way, just got to be careful, two defence and going for the same puck there. we just got to have a bit more communication with each other. Thirty-five minutes of icing the puck would do me fine, Dave. <laughs> oh, for sure. Seriously. But I can Ice see the puck for thirty-five minutes. Yeah, I can still see us going for a lot. Sheffield win the draw through Dowd, Dagenet. Well, there's the first. Steve's got the record there for Michelle Robinson. Got it on. Oh, they've got incoming. Sheffield are going to the box. You see, Lakovic with an old head on young shoulders. Yeah, still fell for the bang in the stick on the ice there from Hugh. Yeah, I think it was, uh, he just had a look. I think maybe he would just pass to the stealer there. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Always controlling the temperature, whatever the situation. Well, we were a handful there and Robert Dowd couldn't cope and he's taken two for hooking. Penalty timed at 25-31. This would be interesting, wouldn't it, Davey? Oh, this yeah, we could be an interesting conversation. Oh, for sure, this is what we need. We need a goal here, right on, right here on the power play. Robert Dowd, two minutes for hooking. Jed Galbraith on the draw with Finity. Galbraith pointing out Finity hasn't got his skates either side of the red marks. Finity tries to say the same about Galbraith and he's well spread round the hash marks. Yeah, the, the skate hat blade has to be either side of the hash mark. Gal, you can't complain that Galbraith's foot is a lot wider than the hash mark. Behave. Come on, referee, you've taught him. Get on with it. These players are pro players. Who's going to win the draw after all of that? His foot's Jake still Galbraith. Inside. Nielsen. Oh, he tried to feather one through and float one through. Sheffield bring it forward through Tate. It's taken off him rather easily. Moline can't get into position for the pass from uh, Nielsen, but he plays it out on the boards. Galbraith gets the backhand, luckily. It's turned back to the corner. Galbraith doesn't react quick enough, and Bassett gets it down the ice. 
Corey Nielsen, you saw him say to uh, goalkeeper Mickey Robinson, leave it there, let me come and get it. Feeds it to Moline. Moline. Oh, I need to get it set up here. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly, Davey. I thought we were going to get away with it and then we were going to kick it and still go forward and we didn't. No momentum. Panthers changing on the fly. Three guys offside at the moment down the other end of the ice, but they've all drifted back onside now. And Brandon Cook carries Good it forward. Player. Feathers one. It goes all the way through. Lehman wasn't sure, but Phillips was and Phillips sends it down the ice. And we're halfway through the power play. Mickey Robinson almost loses control, but not quite. Good stick handler. Oh Set yeah, moves forward. the puck as well. Danny Myers has a little skip, but ends up getting it in. Legway has a chance to clear, backhands it down the ice. I see what's happening there. They're only having one guy on the puck. They've got to have two guys, so they've got somebody supporting the puck carrier. The moment they're going down with one guy and trying to get him to do it all on his own. Smart Brandon play by Cook. Cook there. Yeah, overskated the puck, but let it run through, and it's allowed Richardson into the corner. Mark Richardson got a power play goal last week. He's got the puck now in the this corner. There's a man at the back door. Try and get it through, son. Plays one off the back of Thomas, and keeper Lehman comes forward, and Mark Richardson apologises. Good play. You've got to remember, though, we've got three guys on the sidelines. Oh, we're sure. all oh, yeah. power play unit yeah, one members. Yeah. That gives everybody else a chance on the power play there. Sports by Temple Printing. First prize currently stands at 690 pounds. Don't save anything for tomorrow, boys. We're on the road in Basingstoke. Forget that one. Oh, yeah, we'll worry about sure. tomorrow, tomorrow. No, that's a huge game. This is part of it. We can't let these uh, win tonight. Huge it's game looking ahead to the playoffs, isn't it? Oh, yeah. No, we're the start. Corey Nielsen keeps the, the battered off. puck in the zone. Kevin Bergen bounces around. Lakovic protects it, gives it back to the blue line, it's sent forward. Kevin Bergen, man at the back door, oh, he just tried the swivel and then the pass and it just ran off the end of his stick and Sheffield get dialed back, it's even strength but not in numbers on the scoreboard. Panthers still leading by two goals to nil, backhand from Lakovic, Panthers <laughs> onside, just goes behind Richardson protects it, then gets it further down the ice, Dowd brings it forward, three on two Sheffield, they chip the wall, Michelle Robinson comes out to play the extra defend the yeah, extra defenseman, gets it round, Shepard keeps it in the zone the tensions from Nottingham, frees the puck up, Ed Hill makes some room and gets it forward to Lakovic I thought it was lucky but no it wasn't, it was precision, stick handling from Mark Richardson, tries to work his way through, tries to do a Matthew Myers, not for the first time he's hit by Munn but he's got the puck to Moline Moline gets it across the back Munn helps it on its way, but only as far as Tony's. Tony's off his knees, backhands it across. Moling can't get there first, but finishes his hit on Dagenet. And it's helped win the puck, and he has got the puck. The little Swede does brilliantly against the big Canadian defenceman, and Sheffield just bang it off the glass and send it down the ice. No icing. It's your room and the dirt. Backhands it across. Nick Tony's reads the play, gets to it, protects the puck, uses the boards, and gets it forward to Mark Levers. Levers across to Moline. Panthers on side. No. Moline. Oh, Pretty Farrell, tight an awful goal. linesman. They were definitely on side. Farrell is useless. Yeah. He's one of the worst linesmen in the league. <laughs> No, it's pretty tight. I'm getting making some tight calls at the moment, but uh, no players are complaining, so just get on with it. Hey, Leaves is complaining. Leaves knows what I'm talking about. We were on side. 11.18 to go, second period. We're approaching the halfway mark of the game, sponsored by PWP. Panthers have the puck in the corner with Brendan Cook. Gets his legs going, comes round the front, can't get the backhand shot away upstairs or even downstairs. Sends the puck to the far corner, Levers protects it from Thomas, goes down, Phillips gets a chance to bring it forward, he uses the boards and gets it forward, Legwe and Tolbert, two on one, Danny Myers, oh, beautiful, cool, yeah. spreads himself, gets the stick down and immediately Panthers counter-attack the other way, Cook goes round Thomas, works his way forward and the help in hand from Phillips spoils the attack from Nottingham. And as we chip it round the boards, Lee Nielsen can't get to it, but young James Neal can, he's got room to send it round, don't muck about son. Legway takes him out, wins the puck, needed that just straight forward, yeah, no fancy around. play, don't protect it, just wing it, and, and that's it what bounced happened. around, wicked play, he's given the goal, has he? He was giving a penalty for holding the stick against Nottingham, and he's cancelled that, but he's yeah. given the goal to the Sheffield Steeler on a wicked bounce in front, which has Mickey Robinson fuming. We've got a one-goal hockey game as we approach the halfway mark. It's GMB Panthers 2, Sheffield Steelers 1.
And it, uh, you know, just an experience of young James Neal there on putting James on defence. Uh, he should just rim it straight around the, the ring, but uh, well, that's what's cost us in the end. Oh, now Corey Nielsen's giving it away to Robert Dowd. He's got it back in. Michelle Robinson uses the glass but hasn't cleared it right to the back door. Backhand. Good save. Great save. Great save. Putting it right and it's a backhand down the ice from Kevin Bergen. Well, what's these, li it? these linesmen have given ice in. And what's happened now? It's swung back round to the Sheffield Steelers. So the Sheffield now are putting the Panthers under a bit of pressure. High octane games like these, Davy. The momentum is so important. Oh yeah, and it seems to have swung back that way. What ten minutes of us dominating them? Just shows what a difference a goal can make. Robinson's just got to forget about that goal and just get on with his job. You can get momentum more ways than one, though, Davy. Oh yeah, it can come from big hits. Anything, anything in this game, especially a game like this. Nice save, good Great, quick movement. Easy, comfortable glove save, drops it down. Coincidental penalties. Got Hewitt and Tony's. Yeah, that's a good trade for Sheffield. Panthers home penalty box sponsors are solutions for accounting. When things just don't Holding against Tony's, cross-checking against Hewitt. The penalty box I think they're putting them on the board, so we go four on four. We're missing Tessier, we're missing Myers, we're missing Clark. Yeah, they've got the good, some good power forwards. We've just got to make sure we lock this down. I've well, got Cook and Richardson, I'll, I'll have them any day of the week. One second to the halfway mark of what is shaping into an epic battle. Sheffield win the draw through Dowd and Sarich brings it forward. Nets off its moorings, whatever happens. Totally accidentally, of course. Goalkeepers never do that on purpose. No, no, no. Unless they call Rita from yeah. Brazil. <laughs> That's part of your training schedule. Join the team behind the team. Become a member of the official Nottingham Panthers supporters club. 2-1, JMB Panthers lead the Sheffield Steelers, sponsored by PWP Building Services. Richardson, rink wide, Ed Hill stretches, keeps control. Backhand right to the front. Spin the rama yeah. shot from Richardson, whips it in, pad save Lehman, Sheffield come back the other way, Finity. Half intercepted, shot come pass. Richardson goes deep, gets it, protects the puck with help from Danny Myers. Richardson again, he keeps nutmegging guys and getting away with it. Pass oh, right through try. to Moline, Neely gets the handcuffs off him. Moline making a nuisance of himself against Basic, the near. Oh, stick check from Brendan Cook doesn't work, Shepard brings it in. Bergen's stick check didn't work, but then he kicks the puck away. Brendan Cook can't win it back. Johan Moline goes in deep, forces the giveaway. Nielsen sidesteps. Oh. oh, he just got half poke checked off his stick by Legui. Legui waiting for help. Sends it right across. Now, Sheffield played that before the guy got off. Isn't this going to be too many men? Yeah, called too many men as well. And it's a good job at what happened there over Stanley there as well. Stanley Forth always helps the referee on those calls, and I've always liked him for that. But also what's happening as well, I've noticed Cruikshank, uh, he, he, he's uh, going into the net mind at every chance he gets. Well there's one way to stop that, well two ways, Mickey Robinson gets his stick up in the throat yeah. area. I know Bergen's had a word with him there because he went straight into the crease and wiped there uh, Michelle Robinson out. And the other thing is, it's your room and a dirt, <laughs> knocks seven bells out of him um, next shift. I'd have no hesitation, Davy. None whatsoever. It's ice hockey. Panthers bring it forward. Galbraith flicks it in. That's a four on three here. Great opportunity for the Panthers. Bergen gets it in low. Oh. Off the boards. Nielsen has to readjust and keep it in. Sends it in to the corner. Galbraith digs it out. 
Gets it across, bounces off his uh, skate. It's in the air. And it's gloved down by Jody Lehman. I think... Uh, in 15 seconds, it goes five on four. Yeah. Good save there. Just got to, just at the feet of uh, Galbraith there. Um, just got to move this puck around, get the shots to the net. Bergen's going straight at the front of the net. Get a simple goal here. Two great goals for Nottingham so far. Albeit the first one off a rebound. Well taken. A bit of a fluke for Sheffield. Good draw win by Bergen. Nielsen can't get the shot away but gets the puck across to Galbraith. Galbraith to Nielsen. Nielsen tries the one-timer on the wrong side. Bergen sticks the stick in and wins possession. He's poke checked but he's still got it. He's used the boards and he's got it round the back. Brendan Cook protects it, turns his back on the play, gets it out to Bergen. Five on four now. Across, backside, Nick Moline. Oh, he tried to cock the trigger, didn't he? And whip it forward. And it was just blocked. A minute now, a straightforward uh, power play. Sent down the ice. Good player there. Good player by Clever Michelle play Robinson. By the keeper. Brendan Cook. Tried the shot. Through traffic. Interception from Talbot. Only goes as far to the corner. Cook gets it to Bergen. Bergen out to Nielsen. Jay Galbraith adjusts and gets the shot away and Moline tries to tip in. Galbraith to Moline, Moline across to the front. Oh yes, my God. yes, 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 Johan Moline goes across to the front. We set him up. It's a two goal spread again. Yes. Fantastic goal. Eh? Nice movement by the, the Panthers. They're eh? moving it around the back of the net. Straight to Moline in front. Great shot. First time shot. 32-45, Johan Moline, second goal of the game. This one on the power play, the first one on the rebound. Yeah, he's took that visor off, his full visor, got the half one back on, he's got two goals already. Moline Ferreira and Moline for a 3-1 lead, GMB Nottingham Panthers. Sponsored by PWP. Building services and Panthers have built a two-goal lead. Have you just heard the words flowing from me? Jimmy yeah. Ferreira scores top marks for the student. You know, Here's I'm Moline again fire, for his... Davey. I'm on fire. I'm inspired. Moline on a hat-trick. Will he be inspired? Ed Hill sticked Good upstairs job. by Good Jody job. Lehman. Face-off to the left of the Sheffield keeper. That's one thing I've noticed tonight. They're getting the shots to the net and they're making uh, Jody Lehman uh, make the saves. A lot more rubber to the net. Great job already here for the playoffs. Good job here. Some emergency repairs going on to equipment. Kevin Birkins working the bench. Bench coach uh, Adam Goodridge has gone to the uh, equipment room. It'll be a skate problem. Bench coach Goodridge, also equipment manager. He's got a job to do to get big influential Kevin Bergen back out there. In the meantime, Bergen working the bench. 6.48 to go, second period. Oh, nice try, good effort there. Back to the front from Danny Myers to Ferreri, gets it back to the blue line. Levers throws one in, I love those shots. Floaty, half cock shots, do you know what I mean? They're like yeah. the, the, the fast bowler who throws one in like just spin, 20 yeah. miles an hour slower yeah. and it gets through. In fact, exactly. The, the slow bowler did it to Gavin Peterson in the test match yesterday, didn't he? Steve's nodding anyway, he saw it. Bloke bowling at 58 miles an hour, bowled one at 48, 45 miles an hour and got past Kevin Peterson. Room in the dirt. Levers bounces around, gets a piece of it. Galbraith gets a piece of it. Legway actually kept that in on yeah. the blue line. Stanley Forth was correct, but Legway wasn't sure he'd uh, give it. Good skate and stretch by Nick Tonys, and he gets it down the ice on the backhand, but only as far as Legui. Sent in low by Munn, but Tonys reacts and gets to it. Drops it off in the corner for Ichiruman. Sent forward off the legs oh, nice of uh, the ref. Brendan Cook just was trying to magic it inside into the inside channel, and it didn't happen. And now Saric has brought it the other way. Big, long shot from Rod Saric. And the cherry was picked off the tree by Mickey Robinson. Well, oh, just goes short. Sarich can go from course to course. He's got a big shot on him there. And he follows in for his rebound. 
5.21 to go, 3-1 GMV Northern Panthers. Final to come tonight of the slingshot, slap shot shootout. Well, this is the, you know, I'm just watching the bench there and people are trying to find out who's going out next. It's so frustrating with me sitting up here and you're watching the bench coach there having to do the other jobs as well. That well, could be the difference between first and fourth, in my opinion. Well, Goodridge is back. Whatever's happening, it's being dealt with. Sheffield shoot off the back of the net through Ashley Tate, former Panther, of course. It's flicked down the ice straight through the legs of Mark Thomas. I'd go down his wing every time he was on the ice on defence. Dowd. Yeah, teams tend to pick out uh, the defence whenever they can work on. Here, put pressure on him here with Richardson. That flick could have landed so easily Good hit for there. Johan Moline, but he was busy putting his chin strap back, otherwise he'd have got a penalty. So he wasn't really involved in the play. Michel Robinson up off the glass, goes round. No one knows where the puck is. It's behind Hewitt. Flicks it across the back, oh. right to the back, over the stick of Tate. The net's off its moon rings, accidentally, of course. Goalkeepers never do that on purpose. Yeah, it seems to be a couple of times that's happened already, but... Uh, Purely accidental. You need to get the drill out, I think. 4.31 to go. Take 3-1 at the second break, wouldn't we, Davey? Bit of gardening for referee Andy Carson, working the hole in the ice. Yeah. Planting his uh, rubber prong <laughs> in there for the, the goal to sit on. Danny Meyer's taking the opportunity of the extended break between plays. See, it's too easy. This is where they need a drill. It should, straight away, it should be done. I think a linesman should carry a drill in their pocket just to, for these purposes. And I, he's me thinking he was just pleased to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I went through that one in my mind to see if I could get away with it. You know, and I decided, well... I've had to explain a few things to the kids. <laughs> I'll give you a mention in a minute. He had the big operation on Monday. So it's Panthers on the draw. Michel Robinson's end. Sheffield win the draw. Dagenet. Oh, I'll let them walk. Oh, he's walked all the way. He's got it right across. He wasn't supposed to get the crook shank. He does in the end. He fires into the pads. Blocked by Nick Tonys. Bit out of position, Nick Tonys. Oh, the stretch one-handed flick. Oh, he oh, nice play oh. forward. Brennan just missed Cook that there. Just couldn't get out to it. I thought for a minute Sheffield had sneaked onto a power play without me noticing. Jade Galbraith tries to work his way through. He's working hard tonight, Jade, but he's turned it into the corner where there's only Finity. Levers gets in there, though, and works hard to try and free the puck for Nottingham. Finity's got it into the corner, and it's cleared by Dagenet. But only as far as Jade Galbraith. He uses the wall and chips it in low. Munn has to just send it around. Poke check from Ed Hill. He's out of position. The foot race, oh, he's decided not to go for it here. Well, it was Hewitt. Ooh. Morning's going to be first to that. Lever's credited with a tip. He didn't, but uh, I've always said Stanley Forth's a good linesman. Shepard, diagonal dump. They get to it first through Phillips. He uses the wall, but has to come a long way round. Drops it off for Mark Thomas. He stretches, pokes it forward to Legui, right across. Saric, wrist shot, good save. Mark Richardson back checked all the way with John Phillips this time and wrapped him up. Yeah, smart player there. He's seen the danger, so he come all the way back with him. But they've got to keep the pressure on here. A couple of times the forwards have turned away from the checks. When we've been making sure we finish off our checks, they've been coughing the puck up for us. Three or seven to go, second period, PWP building services. Panthers led 2-0 through Moline and Ferreira. Oh, that bounces kindly, but Thomas, he did, that was awful play by the young British defence. Yeah, I thought he would have stepped up to keep that in. It was easier to step up and keep it in than back off and stretch and lose it. So it was uh, Moline on a rebound, then Ferreira with a tip. Then Sheffield got back in. Who got the credit for their goal, Davey? Uh, good question. Was it Shepard? Who cares? 
for Sheffield. It was one of them. And then Moling with the second. Oh, that nets off again. As we start the two goal cushion. Cameraman Steve reckons it was Steve Munn got the credit for the goal. I never noticed. Two twenty-seven to go, second period. I've got the statistician coming in to clarify. <laughs> Two twenty-seven to go, like I say, Dowd on the draw, easily beaten by Bruce Richardson. Danny Mays oh, gets nice it. Oh, the hard pass just jumps over the stick of Lakovitz. Yeah, it was Steve Munn at 29-31. Legui and Talbot getting uh, two assists. How can you can have three players getting a point out of that goal? No, a total no. fluke. I thought it came off one of our skates or something. You rewind the DVD, folks, and analyse it. I was so disappointed. I think I had my eyes shut at the time. Michelle Robinson keeps it going. Ed Hill protects it. Oh, then it comes good out. Pork check. check from uh, Michelle Robinson. Then he makes a good save. Panthers bring it forward. Three on one, three on two. Now three on three. Inside to Lakovitz. Lakovitz haven't seen much of him because it's been special team second period. He's got it through to Bruce Richardson. Bruce Richardson protects the puck, shields the puck, gets it to Bergen. Blue line. Tony's back to Bergen. Bounces awkwardly. Richardson can't receive it. Sheffield. Down the ice, it's come out. Corey Nielsen plays it over the blue line, so Panthers have to regroup. Change on the fly, 1.20 to go, second period. Panthers with a two-goal cushion. Sheffield with one last chance to come down the ice. Face off is... Because he wasn't there. moving the puck, yeah, he just stood there like a... Moving. He stood there like a dummy in John Collier's window. And I haven't seen a John Collier shop since I was about 14 years old. So he's not only dusty, Mon. Well, that's a, that's a bad call by Mon there. Just letting let that happen. A face off here for cost of the goal. Great for us, but that's a correct call there. Got to keep that puck moving. And all you have to do is move it a little bit. Yeah. Seventy-four seconds to go. Let's make it worse. Yeah, Sheffield shaking the head. He's just been kicked out the face off as well. Finity. <laughs> Shepard wins the draw though, Thomas gets a chance to backhand it down the ice, but it was a bad play by Thomas and Panthers have a chance to send it back in. Flick to the corner by Leavers, Saric fans on it completely, Cook makes a nuisance of himself and on his knees wins the puck, but Finity comes in to rob him. Last minute, Tunis gets a piece of it. Nielsen goes back to mop up, brings it forward with a flash of speed, uses the wall, Galbraith tries the one-timer. Put the pressure on this, we've got to finish off. Good job, Leavers. Good hit. On the big guy is free. The puck up. Ripper of a shot. Rebound. Great oh, job. it could have gone anywhere. Lehman wasn't sure. We just couldn't squirt it through to Brendan Cook. It's flicked down the ice. Danny Myers goes to get it. Ferreira just lets it run off his stick. We're on side. Last 25 seconds. Now we really do want to take the 3-1 scoreline. Ferreira tries to protect the puck. Can't get to it. Moline intercepts. Gets back. No heroics now, boys. Tip from Moline. At the second attempt, Richardson gets it further forward. 13 and a half seconds to go. Panthers steam forward. That should be icing, but they're not going to give it. But Ed Hill gets to it. Protects it. Makes sure it turns it to the corner. Danny Myers comes in to help. Plays it forward. Good play by the GMB Panthers. Clock runs down. 40 minutes gone. Panthers Good led by one goal at the end of the first. Now lead by two goals. Sponsored by PWP in the BMI Baby Elite League. It's GMB Panthers 3. League leading Sheffield Steelers 1. So you're not going to be buying one of those Steelers bad certs anytime soon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what was your first skate back out there like? <laughs> I felt like Bambi. <laughs> but jealous Basically, of his hair. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it because he was gorgeous like his, but... <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. If you haven't seen the video, uh, thank God it was bad cam work, because otherwise I probably would have got suspended for about 15 games. I, I, I found an old uh, program and a picture of him in there and photocopied it and 
and gave it to him. He, he, I don't think he was too happy. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him over here, but it obviously wasn't good. Final period, sponsored by PWP, over this situation on Sunday, April the 4th. Yeah, hopefully we can finish this uh, game off, <coughs> win this last period, win the game. Don't care how boring this period is. Oh no, for sure, we just got to win, we just do what exactly what we're doing here. Let's finish off our checks on their D, put them under pressure. No, that's how uh, our playoff hockey's got to be. Still got faith in young Robbie Lakovitz, the 18-year-old. Starts the period on the left wing with Bruce Richardson and Kevin Bergen, his minders. Yeah, he's done uh, some miles this year. He's been to China with a university team. He's been to uh, Spain with the World Championship with the Great Britain under 18, under 20 team, sorry. And he's been to the Virgin Active Gym in the old Victoria Low Level <laughs> Station on a regular basis. He's done some miles this year. There's referee Andy Carson waiting for the ice to set a little bit. Fans are getting a little bit restless. They want the third period to get underway. We've got one linesman, I don't know where, it, well, I know we've all got the other linesman talking the netminder here. Yeah. I wouldn't mind an announcement, just to explain the delay. Uh, it's the ice look, he's going to throw the puck to Yeah, you just got to let the, the supporters know, because we some new supporters here wondering what's going on. Well, we had the uh, end of season, uh, the season long fi finale competition, so it meant the Zamboni had to wait for that to wrap up, which means the ice hasn't been... Uh, Curing, <laughs> setting, freezing as quickly as it would have done. We've got the spotlight on the cheerleaders this week so we can see them again. Huge crowd, huge support at the top. Directly opposite, oh, we're going to start the play now. I was going to show you the, the workers from the hospice who do such a great job. Hopefully the bucket collection raised 250 quid to crack the 6,000 mark for them. Panthers through Richardson win the draw and have possession right at the start of the third period. No icing. It can't be icing. The goalies went to make a move on it there. It can't be. And goalie played it. Yep. It's not automatic icing in this league. Which linesman blew the whistle? Number 22, Mr. Stanley Ford. He's awful. <laughs> He's one of the worst linesmen I've ever come across. Oh, it's, it actually wasn't icing. He's given offside look because the, fa the face off would have been down our yeah, end. Yeah, it was yeah. icing. It was offside. And I can't remember on the play whether we were offside. Basic. It didn't look like it, but. D to D. By the by. Flick forward. Danny Myers keeps his eye on it. Bats it down. He was in his own zone. Gets it. Uh, That's a defensive oh, zone. Yeah, he was in. Yeah, but the, the pass was picked up in the neutral zone. That's the call. Uh, you, you, you'll not catch Andy Carson out on the no, letter no, of little the rules law. Are. He's the one I ask about uh, rules I'm worried about. <laughs> When he's not adding numbers at the bank, he's reading the latest messages. Oh, to, good win uh, there. Uh, clever play there. by Lakovic, bringing it forward. Talbot loses his grip on him, and Lakovic gets it into the corner. Lehman comes out to protect it. Sticks behind him. No one in the net. Bruce Richardson just couldn't get onto the puck. Talbot doesn't know where it is. Lakovic does and tries to get it across to Bergen. It ricochets around. Tony's keeps it in the zone. Flicks it into the corner. Richardson protects it. Takes the hit from Thomas. Puck's coming around, can Tony's get to it again, needs to, does get a piece of it, but Sheffield get a second bite at clearing it. And Talbot flicks it into the far corner, gloved down and sent down the ice by Corey Nielsen. Well, that's got to be too many men, look at them all, look at them all on the ice there, no one wanting to count them there. And Lehman oh, just, nearly uh, fluffed it in the, the blue paint, uh, inside the blue paint. Ison, no Ison, he's waved that off. It's your room and the door gets it up the ice but only as far 
as Dagenet, man across. A lot of rink-wide passing from Sheffield. Bounces over the stick, through the stick. To Finity. Finity. Oh, there. Finity was looking for that. Looking for that. And now he's just hit Galbraith from behind. It's your room and Nadir gets in there. Hit from behind on Galbraith. No one wants Don't to fight. Don't talk, Ruben. Just throw no, them. Exactly. Exactly, Davey. Hit the nail on the head. Danny Myers gets two for holding. Galbraith was hit from behind. Andy Carson. He had his back to that, so he has to rely on the linesman what he's going to call. Uh... Well, it's your room and Nadir reacted. Crookshank, who went with it's your room and Nadir at Christmas in this barn, didn't want to know, did he? He's, he's felt the wrath of the big Nigerian born ex NHL before. Doesn't want to know. He's standing forth giving advice to Carson. Well, it looked like Finnity hit from behind there. Uh, Galbraith. He's calling it outside, so he's calling nothing. But I wish these players would just go on with it. Get a high game like this as Bergen comes out to settle things down. Power play to Sheffield. Forty-one thirty-six. Huge kill for the GMB Nottingham Panthers. Oh yeah, for sure. Just been next door in the box in the interval talking to Sue Page and uh, Alison, Dave's sister, son Daniel, Jamie, who found him on the morning after his uh, stroke a couple of weeks ago, and Dave's taught him a lot about photography. And um, they're in good spirits, bless them. Ripped around, but not out. Saric keeps it in. Chip to the front. Just got a piece of it. Pad save. Well, was it a pad save or was it just a miss? But we get it down the ice. They are in good spirits. The reception from the fans, all they can say is, can't believe it. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, it's great reception. It's nice uh, for the family in the situation and I, I genuinely like this. David, de genuinely, I just had to pull them off the ice in the air. I said, listen, we're going to be here all night. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Players were wonderful. Both sets of supporters were wonderful. Both sets of teams were wonderful. Match officials bore with us for what we were trying to do and what we were trying to get across. And the team will be on a bus the week after next, heading to Peterborough Crematorium to bid our final farewell. But uh, not the last you'll hear of Dave Prage. Trust me, got plans, got plans to remember the guy big style. All right, he's Sheffield on the power play across to Legui. D to D, they're trying to get a route through. Oh, Finity stick was there for the tip and he just missed it. One-handed Bruce Richardson can't get a piece of it. Finity's got it. Nick Tony hustles him across to the far side. Ed Hill forces the play. It comes out to Legui Good again. Player. Blocked by Bruce Richardson. Puts his body on the line. Doubt from the Good. short nice. side. Yeah. He gloves it. He juggles it out. He goes to clear it and the referee blows his whistle. Good play by the net miner as well. There gets his catching glove down. Great job. Then he goes to look to play it. 34 the seconds it to down. go on the penalty to Danny Myers, the returning from injury captain. Fabulous spectacle in many, many different dimensions so far. We'll have a look at the workers from the hospice. Uh, the old seat I used to sit in, Steve, when we get a chance. Corey Nielsen. I've used it before, but he does, we're just wanging it down the ice when we have to tonight, aren't we? Yeah, it's a new technical a phrase, Dave. You won't find it in the, uh, the coaching manuals. Oh, it just squirts behind Ashley Tate, the former oh. Panther, but now we've given it away, and Sheffield can capitalise on the man advantage thanks to a giveaway. They've turned it to the back door. Bergen can't get hold of it. Corey Nielsen stretches, can't get a piece of it. It's ricocheted around. Brendan Cook uses the boards. Danny Myers is coming out of the box now. Panthers kill the penalty to Danny Myers, and it's still GMB Panthers three. Sheffield Steelers won. The hesitance in my voice was because Danny Myers half went to the bench. It was like a cricketer not knowing whether to run or not. Yeah. And he stopped and then realized there were six players on the ice. So he, he got off. Galbraith drops it for Brendan Cook. Brendan oh. Cook shoots. Went through the net miner there. Uh, Lehman was lucky to, to yeah, get a piece he, of that. He didn't know that was a save, did he? Brendan Cook goes to the corner, shields the puck from Hewitt. Comes outside, oh, goes for the wraparound, goes for the far post. And it's just beyond it. Sheffield clear oh, it. Nick Tony throws the hit on Tate. And then gets a piece of it. Tate tries to hit him back. It's freed the puck up. Jake Galbraith, have a look, son, have a look. Works his way forward. He's getting help. Good job. Low shot from Mark Richardson. Long-range effort sticked upstairs. 
to deny Danny Myers. Brendan Cook gets it in. Panthers on the boil. Panthers chip it to the corner. Danny Myers makes some room for himself. Backhands it. Jimmy Ferreira takes over. Slams the brakes on. Tries to feed the front. It ricochets to neutralise. Huge, huge pressure. Listen to the roar. The louder the roar, the bigger the score. Look at Ferrara, nice move, great job there. Just on his own, waiting for support to come and help him. Was on, on uh, minding duty last week with the Benz, didn't work in Hull. He's built his confidence up. Talbot loses his footing. Hewitt tries to throw the hit on Moline. Moline just bounces off. Jimmy Ferreira robs Thomas of the puck. Goes to get it in the corner. It took four Steelers just to get it round. And a penalty coming in against Sheffield. Incoming against the team from Yorkshire. Great job the by Panthers, Panthers fans are on their feet. Less than 15 minutes to go. Panthers not going to the power play. It was just a high stick. Just a high stick whistle, Davy. But Panthers with a face off in the attack zone. Yeah, just watching uh, Ruben there, uh, just going off the bench. I don't know what's happened to him, if he's injured or what's going on. He's just walked off the bench. But a uh, great uh, opportunity for us here to get another goal on a power play. Counter-attack, Legui leads the charge from the visiting. Sheffield Steelers, he gets it to the front of the net. Mickey Robinson gets a piece of it. Bruce Richardson chipped it to the wall, tried to go and get it himself. Saric takes it round the back. Saric feeds one diagonally across the face of the goal. It's even strength, but remember, Panthers lead by three goals to one. Talbot in low. Back to Talbot. It's loose. Richardson top, gets top. a tip. Ooh, I think he could have left that one to Bergen, but he was so keen to make sure he tried to get it over the blue line. Sheffield kept it in. It was tipped upstairs. Hits the netting. And we got 14-14 to go. No, great five-minute uh, start there for the Panthers. Just putting the Pan uh, Steelers under pressure. The defensemen don't know what's happening to them tonight. Great start, great start for the playoffs to get the, the, themselves into it. I mentioned earlier an empty box opposite. It's got bodies in it now. They were just late arriving. Probably couldn't find anywhere to park when we got this bigger crowd. 7,000. It's actually not one less. I've had uh, a revised figure. It's nearly 7,140. Biggest domestic hockey crowd we've ever had. You know, yeah. if I added in all the uh, the security guards, the bench <laughs> crew and everything like that, I could I could break that record that we've just set. Yeah, no, great crowd. Great advertisement for the sport. This is when we need, I think we need the cameras here just to show what, what sort of crowd does it get in here. All the hard work that's done by the backroom staff. Well, you're right there, son, because Miki Robinson makes no mistake, slams the lobster pot down, takes a whistle. Um, it just doesn't come. No. Easy. You can't, you can't, you know, so, some, of, some of these teams say, oh, you've got a big fan base. No, we didn't. No, Seven yeah. seasons ago, Davey, we had less than two and a half thousand coming yeah. to ice hockey, and bless them, a lot of them were pensioners. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look around yeah. you. How many shopping bags with flasks and travel <laughs> rugs and homemade score sheets do you see these days? Uh, no, that's for sure. There's still a few of them dotting round, but it's a new crowd. Oh, done by all the hard work. Danny Myers gets it forward to Brendan Cook. He tries to chip the wall, so does Sheffield. He gets oh. it back. Brendan Cook hit from behind by Crutchang. Face first into the boards. Nothing given. Danny Myers gets in uh, the way of the puck. Brendan Cook coming back. Bides his time. Jade Galbraith onto the tape. Mark Levis sends it in. Turns away from the hit. They've only got it as far as Corey Nielsen. Corey Nielsen bounces one right to the front. Oh. Brendan Cook tries Get to steer it good out. Job. And in the second attempt, he's made good it. Job. GMB Panthers 4. Sheffield good player, Steelers 1. Tried to go. The little slide of hand movement. Where's the queen? She's in the middle. She's in the back of the net. Oh, for great, great job. Just going to the net, getting a rebound, what was said earlier. Everything's going to the net. That's the difference with this team tonight. Everything to the net, putting the pressure on Johnny Lehman. He's got We're cooking now, Davey. Oh, for sure, definitely good job by Cook. There's Johnny just Jordan put up. Yeah. Yeah. He's broken. Johnny's losing. Nice. He can get a penalty for that. But he's got to be frustrated with his with his defence. Sarich was standing right in front of him. Four-one.
GMB Panthers lead. Jody Lehman having a bit of a hissy fit. 13 21 to go. GMB Panthers lead in a game sponsored by PWP. Now we really want nothing fancy, Davey. Hewitt has to wait till Dow gets out. They've very much changed their lines, haven't they, Sheffield? This Brit line. Yeah, they've changed and moved it around again. I know they used this for a while, and they've tried to switch it around, but they've moved the Brit line back together now. This was one of the starting lineups. Panthers closing them down when they can. They've got it right across to Tate. Bang him, Ed, bang him. Oh, Moline, so clever, so good with the stick handling. Yeah, he's a smart player. He read the play, he knew what Basic was going to do before he even got anywhere near him. Dowd in the corner, Danny Myers, frees the puck, gets it forward. Oh, oh he nearly, he nearly, yeah, bless yeah. him, he tried to get it to Moline, didn't he? He'll yeah, be whistled just down. Now. He understands what he's done, it's just one of those things. Just a bit overzealous, he hasn't been on the, in a game for a while. I bought this song in the Vic Centre this week. I thought it might lighten things up after what we thought would be a big tribute. The fans bought into it, they were clapping along. Lakovic feeds the far post. Bruce Richardson had gone front door. And Danny Myers holding his shoulder there. He looks, I don't know what's happened there. Well, he's only back, just back from a, a, a shoulder problem. Yeah, he, he wanted to come back last week. We'll, uh, talk about, we'll talk about someone else's shoulder problem. I think he's easy. In a moment. It's just wincing now. I'll just send him to the dressing room. You know, he's been brave enough. He's got through. We're winning. Let's go and take a rest. Oh, great shot by Richardson. Jordy Liam just got a piece of that. Bruce Richardson stretches and tries to win it. Does win it. Young Lakovic. Oh, oh. oh no, no. Uh, That's the kind yeah. of play. Eh? James Neal did it. Cost us a goal. Now Lako's done it. Corey Nielsen knocked Take down from out. behind, possibly, it oh, it right. bounces over the stick, Legway gets it, feeds the back door, Bergen, like a great white shark, brings it down the ice, flicks it down the ice and goes for a break, 11 miles boys, 11 miles, Panthers lead by four goals to one against this year's soon to be BMI Baby Elite League champions, but it's not going to be tonight is it? No, for sure, you don't want it to happen in our building, it's one Galbraith thing you don't want to nice gets it to leave nice smart player. He curls and drags, loses the puck in the corner eventually, but nearly pulls off. 11 minutes less than to go. It's your room in the dirt, lines his man up, forces the shot from the tightest of angles, right from the wing. Easy pickings for Mickey Robinson. And we've got 10.44 to go. Here comes the 50-50 prize at the next whistle. That's going to be big tonight. I'm guessing about 760 quid. Sheffield win the draw, shot through traffic off target. Brendan Cook nice corrals ball. it, spins, sends it down the ice. Don't care, it'll be icing, don't care. No, that'll Good do, point. just don't get the pressure put on you. We're going to win the draw here. That's 12 seconds off the clock. Fans getting into it. Now the crowd Sheffield having a go, it's great now. One <laughs> after the Nottingham fans started out. Top of the league, you're having a laugh. <laughs> Not my favourite chant of the year, that came down at the city ground from the Derby fans. 2 0, and you, well, I can't say the rest. Shot off target from Crookshank. He's got another chance now. Shoots through traffic, sticked, and then paddled away by Mickey Robinson. Not a great game in Hull last week. Touchwood so far, he's having a good one, just a fluky one. Brendan Cook tries to slip it forward. Crookshank, half yeah. played it. Oh, it's given away! Needs a block! Back great door. save! Great, great save. save, huge save! That's what I mean about putting right your mistakes. Shepard fakes the big dive. Finity throws the hit on Levers in the corner. Levers gives him a shove back. Panthers 
Chip it down. Galbraith can't get to it. Bassett uses the boards. Tom's, Thomas spins and fights. Finity him. going off the levers. Uh, well, know. I'll trade that. You know what? Yeah, Leeds exactly. get him into one. Cover up. Turtle. Clever play. Danny Myers back out. Whatever's wrong with his shoulder, it's not too bad. Ferreira takes it in. Molin's on target. Shot. Rebound. Molin tries to get there. In between the legs of Tate. No one reacts apart from Johan Molin. Panthers get it forward. Mark Richardson sends it in low. Lehman gets a piece of it. Gets it out to Tate. Spins and turns and keeps possession for the Sheffield Steelers. Carries it forward. They're a mile offside. They haven't, they haven't, in. Got, in they haven't, got, they haven't in. got in yet. Ooh, hissy fit. He's got a point, and he gets the misconduct penalty. And he's what a great referee Andy Carson is. Haven't I always said it, Steve? You've worked with me for a long time. Isn't he the best referee? Oh, keep going, Ashley. Keep no, going. 50-50 draw. Sponsored by Temple Brinty. I will take that, but uh, bad, bad decision by the linesman. Ten minutes. Goes to ticket number four. And he's thrown out of the game. For smashing his stick and mouthing off. And he's offering the referee his glove. Upgrade him again, Andy. Oh, look at that. We're number one. Not tonight, Ashley. You're second by a long way yeah, tonight, well, Ashley Tate. Well, I think Ashley was a bit out of order there. I think he's, uh, you know, he's let his team down, his teammates. It just shows how high these players are, they're pumped up. He's given them a two minute and he's given them a ten minute, so they've got to send somebody into the box. He's given them a two no, and a ten. No, it's a ten in a game, Davey. you got oh, ten to good. start with. Pay attention, pay attention, I've already said that. Oh, sorry. How much was the 50-50? I wasn't even listening. No, I don't, I don't. I hope we won it. £942. £942. £942. Unbelievable. I guess we did get extra tickets after all. I couldn't remember whether I ordered them. Nick Tony's loses out. Back door, no one there. Hewitt not there. Ferreira with his opposite number 17, Ed Hill. Tries to wing it round the boards. Can't get there. Molin's reacted first to the loose puck and gets to it. And Molin carries it. Has a look. Sees what's on. The teammates stay on side. Molin pretends to circle back. Sends it in low. Sarich tries to protect the puck. He's given it away, but he's won it back from Molin. Panthers with less than nine miles to go. Lead the league leaders. This year's bound to beat league champions. Oh, well, lucky now. I thought there was too many men. To one. Now, Sheffield have pulled off some miraculous comebacks this season. Yeah, it's not going to happen tonight. We're under control. I here. was forcing you to say that, Davey. I was feeding you the line. <laughs> no ice and have called. 7.52 to go. PWP Building Services sponsoring the best game of the season, probably. Started with an unbelievable tribute and it's been followed by an unbelievable game. Great job by the short staff GMB Nottingham Panthers against the full staffed Sheffield Steelers. Now with Tate out of the lineup, does that mean we might see Andrew Sharp quoted this week as saying, I'm glad my 20 game band's over because I can now get back and help the boys win the title? <laughs> well, we'll wait and see. Brendan Seven Cox in the middle. Jade Galbraith picks his spot. Oh, Jody Lehman goes for it, pucks loose. Jed Galbraith could have really had a dig there. Yeah, that's for sure. But uh, great job here. We're just walking through this team at the moment. Getting the puck deep on them, putting them under pressure, finishing off the checks. I mean, let's go back to Ashley Tate. Love the kid to bits, known him a long time, but how many times when it's not going right do you see Ashley mouthing off? Yeah. Throwing a hissy fit and getting thrown out. And, uh, it's one of those things of the linesman just trying to say to him, look, I've made a mistake. But they, they mean so much to the players, they get themselves all hepped up, and Ashley's one of those. But uh, I feel like he's let himself down on his team. You just shouldn't give up on a game, should you? Never give up till the fat lady's actually warbling. Oh, no, exactly. 
You know, I know we'll have a, you know, we'll have a bit of banter and what we'll say about the referees and linesmen, but uh, they make mistakes as well. It's not easy being out there, especially when you've got a full crowd like this. Bruce Richardson, oh, nice glove shot. save. Fake the shot, hit the shot, deceive the shot. Kevin Bergen's there. They're all pushing him off, but at arm's length. Yeah. No one's wants, pushing him off within Bazic danger he area. He wants to have a good Bazic. As you just heard in the background, 6.48 to go. I can just feel the uh, arena at the moment just buzzing. Well, that oh. looked like a penalty, that's for sure. Just down there, yeah. missed Infinity and Levers again. Well, Infinity's busy dealing with Mark Levers, that's fine by me, but he's just got past. Oh, great play by Mark Richardson. Mark Richardson's a candidate for Man of the Match tonight. He's had a stalking game. Yeah, he's played well. Right to the front, it's Luce who reacts first. The little sweep. Corey Nielsen. And John Phillips and Corey Nielsen's got him down. And Corey Nielsen doesn't fight and he's winning it. The coach is winning it. Get off he's his arm. The player Can't put him down. Yes, coach. Good Way job. to go, coach. Way to Good go, job. coach. Great job. Good job there. Great job. You see the linesman grabbing a hold of Corey's arm. I hate seeing that when the both of them are gone. You lost John Phillips. John Phillips. Don't care what Come you're off best. now, John Boy. You took a spanking. Yeah, exactly. It's took a long time for Corey to lose it. He's done a great job there. Now this is where we're going to look see at, the shot come on Look at Track on. and Jason behind their, their uh, penalty box, giving it to him. You lost. You lost. But that linesman, I hate seeing that when a linesman, they're having a fight there too. One linesman grabs a hold of one body, somebody's arm. He can't throw punches, he can't protect himself. They've got to wait for them to both to go to the ground. That's how these players get hurt. Six and a half thousand Nottingham fans chanting the name of player coach Corey Nielsen. Thank goodness we've already signed him. Oh, yeah, have to have to negotiate yeah, Sharp now. coming out. We need Bergen out. We need the doubt. Come on, Ruben, get out there. Have a look. Get him up front. Bergie's on the ice. Come on. Come on. There. Bergen and Ruben Nadeau having a chat. Ruben's gone. Here, Here we go. Here we go. And Bergie. Sharp having a chat with it, your Ruben Nadeau. We know what's going to happen here. Here we go, they're the going captain, in the middle. The captain tried to get something going. It didn't work. Drop the puck, Leisman. Leisman, just get on with it. We know what's happening. Here we go, here we go. Get out the way, Leisman. I'll let the pictures tell the story. It's your room in the dirt. Starts unloading on Sharp, puts him down. It was short and sweet, there was only going to be one loser. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Oh, now he starts throwing. Now he starts throwing. It's your room and the dirt throws him back. And he puts him down again. Two times a loser. Yeah, good job by both, and that's a good job by Lions. But now that's what should happen. Just let now, him go, let him Now what's Matt Sosser's next game plan? Yeah, exactly. Here we go. We've got Where go, Good job here. Good job. That's what it's all about. Hey, you cut it out. I'll call you out. 6 18. Obscene gestures coming from a Sheffield fan. I'll have a word with him next time I see him. 
He should get five minutes for losing twice. <laughs> Well, this is what the crowd are coming to see. This is what they all want. Honest, David. Andrew Sharp is no more than a mascot. No, exactly. That's awful. Knows, mas we, our mascot tonight can skate better than him. Yeah, but that's. I think that oh, everybody's got a role in a team, and he understands his role. He's went against a big fella. Well, Crookshanks, on. Does he want to go now? Well, if they wanted so momentum from it, they haven't got it. Pogchak slapped away by Jade Galbraith. Six miles to go. Three goals, the cushion. He's going to pull his keeper soon, isn't he? That's got to be. Is it, that's the only kick of the cat he's got left. Yeah, I think he's just got a good goal limitation. He's lost this one, and I think. Uh, oh, Kevin Bergen's he's tied up by do Dowd. He's battling to win the puck back. Throws a hit. No call from the referee. Levers gets it down the ice. Tipped by Galbraith. Takes the hit from Thomas Lehman. Fires it up off the boards to Hewitt. Brandon Cook tries to make a nuisance of himself. They get away from him, 5.22 to go. Runs off the stick of Bruce Richardson, but Panthers have got numbers back. James Ferreira goes across. Don't forget, we've got two D-men in the box. Oh. Off the blocker to the far corner. Talbot keeps it in the zone, tries to work it in. Poke check coming in from Ed Hill. Ed Hill earns his corn, gets it down the ice. Backhand from Bruce Richardson picked off, but it goes over the blue line. Oh, good. Five minutes yeah, yeah. to go, given away. Jimmy Ferreira goes through. Uh, Bassick tries to trip him, but not good enough. Yeah, he could have went down there, maybe caught, got a penalty, but he stayed on his feet. Sheffield work it to the right wing. Bassick joins in the good play. Save. Bad save. Corral down by Mark Richardson. Mark Richardson on the wall, wins the battle, gets the puck forward, he's Brendan Cook, Levers is driving to the back post, Brendan oh, Cook takes job, the shot, job. Lehman doesn't know what to do with it, eventually feeds it out, four minutes to go. Panthers playing defensively, quite rightly so, oh that was so nearly no ice and the no stretch ice and pass. Munn taken in the boards by Levers. Munn gives him a cross check for his trouble. Levers gets back as best he can to the play. Panthers three across the blue line. Mark Richardson playing on D. Right to the oh. front, tipped upstairs. Goal for Crookshank. We've got a 4 2 hockey game with less than four minutes to go. 3.47 on the clock. The goal coming at 56 13. Still a two goal spread, Davy. Oh yeah, for sure. I got still got three, three forty-seven here. Just now is the time where he could be looking at pulling his goalie. This is the time where he could do that. They've got to be careful here. Bruce could get a, a penalty here. Hasn't called a timeout. Drop the puck. Goal for the Steelers is scored by number twenty-six, Brad Crookshank. Assistant ten, Ryan Finnerty, and the twenty-five. Munn and Crookshank for the visitors from Sheffield. Cook with two. No, Moline with two, isn't it? Yeah, Moline with two. Cook for our. And another one, and I can't remember it. Oh, oh it off. nearly, nearly gets through to Young Lakovitz. Remind me, where did the fourth goal come from? Ferrara. Cook had it. Cook. Molin's got two. Ferrara's got one. Someone's got a fourth one for us. Yeah, Cookie. Cook's got two. No, molin has got two. Cook and Ferrara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been a long week, folks. <laughs> a long, long week. Lakovic kicks it, can't get to it. Sheffield bring it forward. Lakovic has to get back and tie his man up. Good job by young Lakovic there. Uh. Finity with the stick under his arm, oh. right through the crease, no one at the back door. Shot off the pads, chipped upstairs, off the glass. Ah, bad call. Not off the glass. No, Panthers with straight a out the zone. Kill. It's right in our zone as well. I just, oh. No. No, just one of those things. I think we've got to be careful here. We're short on D men. 
Bergen and Danny Mai is on defence. Richardson and Levers up front. 3.13 to go. 4-2 the score. <coughs> I bet Dave Matos is really pleased with Ashley Tate right now. Yeah, yeah. Panthers win the draw and get it down the ice. All right, do or die time, folks. Big shot. Bergen backhands it down the ice <clears throat> to Levers. He gloves it, sends it out to Dowd. Dowd plays it off the backboards and Sheffield. Mount the attack. Saric tries to do too much. Levers, yeah. And Danny Myers gets it a little bit forward. Sheffield send it forward, but it's a giveaway. Take your time, Kevin. Take your time. Sends one right down the ice. Far corner. Gloved down by Lehman. 75 seconds to go on the PP. I thought they might pull the keeper on this PP and go six on four. Talbot yeah, gets it to Finity move. in the corner. Finity backhands it to Talbot. Back to Legui at the point. Talbot. They haven't pulled Lehman yet. Back door. Attempt by Finity. Blocked by Mark Richardson. The excellent Mark Richardson tonight. We're in the last two minutes. 45 seconds. A little tip. Talbot. To Dowd, straight into the pads. Moline tries to protect the puck, flaps at it, tries to get it, dives, tips it forward. Brendan Cook, Brendan Cook circles, tries to play through the legs. Dowd throws the elbow. Moline gets it down the ice. 25 seconds of power play to go to Sheffield. Panthers leading by two. Legui sends it right to the far corner. Of course Sheffield get to it first, they've got the extra body, but it's round the boards, all the way to this side. In 12 seconds, Panthers get a man back, Legui gives it to Bergen, but Shepard battles for it, gets it out. Long range effort straight into the pad, the skates, Bruce Richardson, he bides his time and sends a slow, slow, lazy river clearance down the ice. And Tony's comes out, leaves the D intact, and Jade Galbraith joins the forwards up front. And we've got 66 seconds to go in this one, and it'll be memorable for more than one reason. Lehman's Jordan's pulled, off, yeah. they've gone with the extra one. They've got a penalty here. Slashing's the call. Against Mark Levers with 57 seconds to go. Yeah, and they're pulling the net miner here as well, so Are there's going to be a lot of pressure. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me in a high octane game like this. Yeah, well, even Mark doesn't know what's what he's got the call for. Matos is taking his time out, he's got the whiteboard out. But the five minutes have finished, haven't they? Corey Nielsen's out. <clears throat> okay, 58 seconds to go, Davy. Yeah, it's a huge kill. This will be uh, getting all the Panthers, making sure we we'll get this kill in. Six against four. They're going to be getting people to the net, crushing that net. How important is this draw? Oh, this is a huge draw. I'd send a spoiler in first, that makes somebody go in and try and spoil it for them first. Then have somebody actually who goes in to win the draw. I'd have, I'm just going to say I'd have Morlean out there <laughs> to do this. Morlean's the guy. I was just looking to work out who's on the ice. Morlean, Bruce Richardson, Corey Nielsen, yeah. Nick Tonys. I'd have Morlean out there every time. Wouldn't even think about it. Guys, Bruce smart Richardson player. tries to just bank it oh. down and it's bounced over the stick of Rod Saric. Six skaters against four. Panthers lead by two goals. Saric sends it in low. Richardson. Robinson. Nielsen and Moline. Last 40 seconds. Gloved down by Nick Tonys. Hits it off the glass and sends it right down the ice. 33 seconds to go. 30 seconds stand between the GMB Panthers and a memorable victory on a night of high drama. Phillips goes right, feeds it across the front. Richardson gets it to the corner. Last 20 seconds, right to the back door. Great down. save. Saved Great by save. Mickey Robinson. Good job. Good first time shot there by Dowd, but what a fantastic save. That's a game one right there. 16.4 seconds to go, sponsored by PWP. What a night. Oh, what a night.
Bruce Richardson to take the draw. Squirts across, goes upstairs, high, wide and handsome, Crookshank can't get to it. Kevin Bergen puts his stick in, sends it down the ice. We're in the last five seconds of the game. Sheffield have a look at the clock. They're two goals back, they send it all the way down the ice. It's tipped Good to the God. wide. The louder the roar, the bigger the score! Great job, great team effort there. Everybody worked really well, good job. Folks, it's been a big emotional night. My thanks to Dave Graham and Chris Ellis earlier. My thanks to Steve Wilkinson. I've gone downstairs because I want to shake everyone's hand. It's been a big, long night. Dave Page, we salute you. Ladies and gentlemen, now for the presentation of tonight's Green Kicker IPA and Manager Match Awards. These are being presented on behalf of our match sponsors at DMWD by Matt and Bob Santa and Vanessa Jones from DWD, accompanied by Louise Ferguson from DDD and Simon Butler from Miller Construction. Green Kicker IPA and Manager Match for the series this evening, number 25, Steve Mudd. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for the Eurologic Sheffield Steelers as they leave the ice. Take journey home to Sheffield. And to your supporters, thanks for coming. And the Green King IPA under the match for the GME Bunkers, number 15, Johan Moly.
Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, the next time you can see the GMB Nottingham Panthers is right here next Saturday against the Edinburgh Capitals. Tickets now on sale.